Hey guys, how you doing? Just thought I'd give you a quick update on the battery test that I'm doing. This is the second day I've been running my phone. I mean, yesterday I had it running on GSM only, on the Edge GPRS. Didn't have an active connection. Today I have been using the web for about half an hour on Wi-Fi. Then I switched the connection over to dual GSM. And I've got the 3G running and I've also got the active connection there as well. So I'll just show you. So it is currently I'm connected to it. Just to, just to let you see. So it's been like that for about a couple of hours now. Now what I will say is when I had it on GSM only, I was only using it for texts and calls. I I didn't really use the web that much yesterday. I just downloaded two apps. And then I uninstalled them, then I downloaded them again, then I uninstalled them again. I was just messing around, you know, and uh, probably went through a couple of video clips, uh, a couple of browsing on the phone, but nothing heavy, nothing heavy at all. And uh, today, when I got up, the battery was about 80%, I would say. Since I've been using the web for half an hour, and then I've on the Wi-Fi, then I've also got the active connection. I had a few emails come in. I've also been on the OV file store as well, and I've been browsing my PC and everything. And it has dropped down less than a half. So I have been using that altogether, I would say, for about an hour. And the active connection has stayed on for over an hour as well. So it is... It, it does drink a lot of juice once you go on the web. That is one thing to watch out for. Some of the settings that you can do to help is prevent the battery from draining quickly is to turn off your GPS, which can be found in settings, location. Make sure you turn both of them off, off because you don't want them on unless you're actually going to use Nokia Maps or if there's going to be any other kind of sat-nav sat -nav kind of application that's going to come out. I mean other than that I don't see the point of having it on. So I've kept them both off and it did make a difference so that's better. Also notification light. I mean device on. Keep that one turned off guys. It's the very first one there. Yep. Don't know if you can see that. Okay. Just going to turn that off. I've got the other ones there because they're handy as when my phone's off, the screen's off, um, all I'll see is a blue light just flash there and that means I know that I've got a text or a call or an email so then it's just a case of flicking the screen on and then just checking what it is rather than just having to put your phone on all the time just to see if you've got a new message or whatever in case you were out of the room or wherever you were and you didn't hear your phone go off so that's a pretty handy feature that I like so just make sure you turn off the one for device on otherwise that will just go white it just it just goes white on and off display a lot of people say turn the brightness down to the level 2 I disagree, I mean, I cannot get used to that kind of setting and I don't see why you'd want to go down that low just to prevent your battery. I mean, uh, the most I've done is just <laughs> dropped it down by one bar. I mean, because realistically, that, that's, that's not an issue. I mean, because what you can do is, once you've finished doing whatever you're doing, you can just flick the screen on and off. And that's, that's it going off with just a switch at the side. It's just there. So once you push, push that down, that's it, come on again. If you don't fancy doing that all the time, you can also do it from here. If you press the power button at the top, and just lock screens and keys, and you can just do it that way as well. Another battery drainer is the 4Cal Weather Widget. I had it, used to have it sitting here, but I've taken it off since I read about it, and I've just kept it as a shortcut which is much better because if I need to check the weather anytime I just click on the shortcut and it's automatically connected to web anyway so it's, it knows it's, it's updated it so if you've got this as I've set as a widget on your desktop I would uh, get rid of that 
Another thing is active desktops. I've reduced this just to two. I've got my second one, which I've just got a couple of the internet shortcuts. Got my application manager, got my file manager, calendar, and I've got the OV bar there. And these two were just on one of the other desktop. I just dragged them in there just in case. I might want to check it out sometime, see what it is. If it eventually does ever open, <laughs> you know. Uh, and that's my main one where I've got weather forecast, got my web, got my email icon, got my phone, got my contacts, and I've got my text. So, non all in all, it's pretty cool. If you have any questions, then uh, do let me know, do comment, please rate the videos, and if you haven't subscribed, then please do so.